All right, now we're going to set up for our war drive. And we're actually gonna be war driving a neighborhood that I grew up in. My earliest memories are actually right here in this house off to my left. And I lived here from ages three to six. So I figured we'd take a look at how the old neighborhood has secured their wireless. All right, I'm gonna be grabbing my laptop. I'm gonna be running a version of Backtrack while we're doing this. And I'm also gonna be grabbing my trusty Alpha AWIS 036H adapter. All right, so. Um, this is a pretty classic card. It is uh, external, USB in nature, and it has a 500 milliwatt to 1,000 uh, 1, milliwatt or one watt, one watt power. So I'm gonna turn my, put my external antenna on, give me about a 9 dB gain, and plug it in, and away we go. So let's go ahead and hop in the car. Let's fire up Backtrack, and let's take a look at what we got. All right, let's go ahead and hook that adapter up. Now this adapter, depending on where you buy it and the options you choose, can come with a little holster, which is kind of cool. It has a suction cup on the back of it and you can just stick it to your window. We're gonna get some pretty decent range out of it without drawing much attention. You know, what's that little thing hanging in that guy's window? All right, so I'm gonna plug it in. We get the notification tone and I'm going to plug it in. Uh, we're just gonna use our our BT5 machine. All right, so I can actually just tuck this in the door here, pop our antenna up a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna shut down Armitage that we looked at in our demo. And I'm gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna do a quick check here, make sure that the adapter is plugged in. And right now, it looks like it's actually connected to a different host. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and connect it. And we're gonna double check that by doing an IW config. You open up a fresh terminal window here. Now we've got a WLAN 2, all right? So the WLAN 2 by itself, by default, is not going to listen in monitor mode, and that's what we want. So I'm gonna do an IF config, WLAN 2 down, bring it down. I'm gonna do an Airmon NG check kill, killing the competing processes. And we kill a couple uh, instances of the DH client, and then I'm gonna bring it back up. So I'm gonna do an Airmon NG Start WLAN 2. All right, it's going to take it a second, and it's going to come up with a monitor mode adapter. So it's got a virtualized version of the adapter, and we're going to have a MON 0. All right, at that point, we're going to, just like we saw in, in our demo, we have monitor mode enabled on MON 0, and now we can uh, actually ch uh, channel hop and look at all the different wireless access points. So what we're looking for is some WPA, PSK, and then also in a residential community, and then also we're gonna be looking for WEP, absolutely. You know, WEP is a slam dunk. So I'm gonna do an Airmon NG Mon Zero. Aerodump, sorry. Okay, so what we've got, we're gonna go expand this out a little bit, and we've got lots of WPA2, uh, lots of PSK. All right, so we see a bunch of WPA, we got some WEP, and then our signal strength shows the proximity. Uh, the, the lower the, the dB loss, the more powerful the signal is. So we would also see some associated clients. Now we're coming up with a heck of a lot of wireless going on here. For the most part, this neighborhood's pretty secure using WPA2. Now the pre-shared key, it de depends on what they've used for that pre-shared key. We'd have to go ahead and start running a air crack attack against it or uh, something like cow patty. But we do have some WEP and we do have some PA. So this neighborhood does have some potential vulnerabilities, especially with that web. If we went after the web, uh, I am very confident we would have that web key in a matter of three, four, five minutes. We can't really take it much further here. Uh, we've discovered a lot of access points. We've discovered a lot of broadcasted SSIDs. Ooh, there's a Reedster. Interesting. <laughs> My last name being Reed. All right, so we discovered a lot of access points, but at this point, if we compromise them without permission of the owner of the target, we'd be acting unethically, and of course, we never do that.